Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Ladybug Farm. Today we are talking about blackberries. I grew up in western New York where blackberries grow wild in our forests and they are abundant. They make big, huge brambles and they are these sour and sweet tasting little berries. And that's not what we're talking about today when I talk about blackberries. We are talking about blackberries grown in the south. They love it here in the sand hills of North Carolina and they are big berries, like the size of your thumb or bigger. Here we are mid-April and you can see right behind me some white flowers. These flowers, when they become pollinated, will turn into berries this summer. You can see wasps and you can see some of our honeybees. Unlike raspberries, blackberries love the summer heat and a healthy plant is going to yield you about six pounds of berries per plant. They are biennial canes, but they have perennial roots. So two years canes and the roots stay in the ground and make that plant resurface every year. The first year cane is going to be called the primal cane. And the second year cane is called the floral cane. That's the one right behind me, you see. That's a second year cane. It's producing flowers. And from the flowers, once pollinated, the berries will form. After that, you prune them away. Unless you want to make brambles, you can let them stay. But you're just going to have dead branches like this. And the plant is no longer. It's going to send off new primal canes or develop those floral canes on year two. There are two types of growth habits for blackberries. You can have your upright bushes. Those are the ones you can plant as a hedgerow. They will be bushes. Or the second one is trailing blackberries. They're going to produce these very, very long, long canes as tall as you, taller than you and I. And those ones are gonna to need to be trellised. And again, because they are biennial canes, you're going to have to readjust them every single year onto your trellis. But most of the farmers do that growing method, at least around here locally. When you plant your blackberries, whether it's just a couple or whether you have a whole row, you want to orient them so that they can have airflow around them just to create a healthier plant and to create healthier berries. After planting them, if you just bought a plant and you're going to put that into the soil, it's going to feel terrible, but you need to go in and cut them about one inch tall. And then you take, they recommend taking those prunings and burning them just to prevent any diseases. You want to keep them mulched just to prevent any of the grass or any of the weeds from coming in and taking nutrients away from your blackberries. And then as soon as fruiting is complete that second year around, you go in and cut off those canes. Careful not to get any of the shoots for the following years. A few varieties that have been recommended. There's Arapaho or Apache. Those are the earliest thornless varieties. There's also Triple Crown. That's great, but um, the taste is great but they burn up because they fruit so late. So that's one to kind of consider depending on where you live. And then Vaughn is one that's recommended for us here in the Sand Hills. But again, there's so many different varieties. So be sure to do your research and hopefully you can find one that works for you. There are a couple diseases to consider when thinking about planting blackberries. The biggest one is gonna be rosette disease. That's a fungus. And your sign is gonna be when the flowers are distorted, the petals are distorted, or you have a little double flower. You're gonna have a loss of yield and your berries are gonna be undeveloped. So that's one. Unfortunately, they recommend just getting rid of the whole plant and just starting anew, rather than trying to salvage that one. For pests, you're going to keep an eye out for the spotted wing drosophili. Those manifest inside the berries. And then there's also a blackberry, psyllid nymphs. They overwinter in pine trees, in conifers, 
which we have a lot of here in the sand hills. So that's one of the pests that we face here. You might also look onto your berries sometimes and see these really narrow, tiny bugs. Those are thrips, possibly those are thrips. Find a picture of those so you know how to identify those. There's no harm with the thrips. They're just there trying to eat the pollen. They're not gonna destroy any of your fruit. So here at Ladybug Farm, this is all we have. We just have two plants right now that we have brought from our old house in town. We brought in a pot a year when we lived in a cabin, a year of living in the camper. Finally got them planted in the ground and got our first handful, small handfuls of harvest last year. We want to have a few dozen plants, but the area right now, we're working on making better soil. We have pigs in there and cover crops growing, and hopefully next year that's a goal that we will have. But if you are here in the sand hills, blackberries are definitely something to consider. So hopefully these tips help you out a little bit, and may you have some tasty blackberries to come. Have a beautiful day, everybody.